How to drop potato from chip and potato step by step. Hey, what is going on everyone? So for the first step of drawing potato, we're going to begin by drawing the nose right here in the center of the page. Now once we're all done drawing the nose, let's go ahead and draw the mouth. We'll begin by drawing the top of the mouth by using two curved lines that connect to the bottom of the nose. Now right to where those two curved lines meet, we're going to draw the two top teeth. Now let's draw the bottom outline of Potato's mouth because it will appear as if Potato's mouth is open. Now on the bottom of the mouth, we're going to use a simple curved line to make the tongue. Fantastic! We're off to a great start. Now right above the nose and everything that we just drew, we're going to draw two small circles that will be the eyes of Potato. Now on the inside of those circles that we just drew, let's go ahead and draw two more smaller circles for the inside of the eyes. So now on the outside of the area of the two circles that we just drew in the eyes, let's go ahead and fill that part in black. And we'll want to do the same thing on the left hand side as well. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome to Learn How to Draw Hub. We have a new step by step drawing tutorials every single day. So if you're looking for a new community to draw with, then you're in the right place. Wow, so far this looks beautiful. Now let's go ahead and draw two small curved lines right above the nose for detail. And once we're all done with that step, we're going to draw small eyebrows above each eye that we previously drew together. Now if you're all done, let's continue. If not, feel free to pause the video. Now we're going to draw the outline of Potato's face. Beginning on the left hand side, drawing a curved line going up and down. Then for the bottom and the right side of the face, we're going to make a shape that looks similar to a backwards L that is slightly curvy. Now the most important part of drawing the top of Potato's head will be drawing the big piece of hair in the center. If this part is a little bit tricky, just pause the video as you need to.
Nice job! Now you're probably saying, Nathan, on the left hand side of the face, it's not completely connected. Well, as of right now, it's supposed to look like that because we're going to close it off with big mouse ears on each side, beginning right here on the right hand side by drawing a big backward C like shape. Now we still have to draw the inside of the ear, but we're not going to do that just yet. We'll come back in just a few moments because that part is a little bit difficult because there's two shapes that we have to make. Let's go over to the left hand side and make the second shape that we just did on the right hand side. Now let's add the detail that I previously talked about on the inside of the ears. The inside of the ears will appear to have two shapes that look similar to half hearts, one over the other. Well done. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left hand side, but keep in mind it's important that they're both the same size. And at the very end of today's video, I'm going to show you a picture of my drawing all colored in, just in case you want to pause the video and match your colors. On the left and right hand side of the nose, let's draw mouse ears for potato beginning on the right hand side. In total, we should draw three mouse ears on each side. And if you're enjoying today's video so far, then be sure to give it a big like so that we can continue to grow our drawing community together. Whoa, we're all done drawing the head of potato. Now we're going to go right beneath and we're going to draw the body. The first thing that we draw below the head will be a heart inside of another heart, which will be the detail on potato's sweater. Now right above the heart design that we just drew, we're going to draw the v-neck of Potato's sweater. Keep in mind, Potato's sweater is very fluffy, so when we draw the lines of the v-neck, they're going to have a lot of curves in them to show the fluff. Keep in mind that the entire sweater of Potato will be fluffy, so we'll use a lot of curved lines when we're drawing the sweater. Let's go ahead and draw the left arm right here, and we're going to draw the hand coming out of the sweater, which will be very small. Now let's draw the bottom outline of the sweater along with the right arm and hand. Great job! Now all I have left to do before we color is to draw the legs along with the feet. Let's go ahead and draw the legs right here, right beneath the sweater. Now on the very bottom of the pants, let's go ahead and draw the very small feet of Potato.
Now on the pants of potato, let's draw small circles for detail. Then, oh I forgot, we still have to draw the tail on the left side of the pants. Well done. Now last but not least, let's go ahead and draw the tail. Thanks for watching on how to draw hub. This is how to draw potato from Chef and Potato. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to give it a big like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Great job today and thanks for drawing with me. See you next time. Hey Learn How to Draw Hub crew, if you like videos like this one, then we highly recommend that you consider hitting the subscribe button so that we can keep you updated on videos like this every single day.